Oh no, he's ah! You think you can nose at me? Snot llama, gross free leads. All right, free leads and two leather. What is up the world? That is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here. Hanging out today, doing stuff and things. Playing some Minecraft in my world. Look at it back there. Our Minecraft world. It's so unbelievable and amazing. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a great day. Welcome back. I'm very excited to do stuff and things, you guys. Just spend a little time over here at my mob farm. Let's go ahead and squirt this guy off and go check and see what kind of drops this is we got. Our mob farm slash fish farm. That's right. What's going on over here? It looks like the collection area is working well. Everything should be good here. Oh, yeah. We did do a little bit of building over here. A little bit of aesthetic changes have been made. We're checking out. Oh, dude, that thing is... Ha oh, it's happening. So, you guys, there's a lot of stuff and things that I want to tell you, man. So much has changed in our Minecraft world. And thank you so much for coming to hang out. Like I said, appreciate all your support on the previous Minecraft video. Yes, I'm a magician. Uh, make sure if you like this video, please show your support. Hit the thumbs up button. If you're new and you have a good time, consider subscribing as well. Some of you guys, when we built the collection area, there was a lot of information that was left in the comment section. Even though I said in the video I could get a lot of magma blocks in the nether a lot of people said hey slipgator you can get a lot of magma blocks in the nether i know i said that in the video and also people were saying if you put a um water block on top of the magma block you're gonna get that downward uh like anti-bubble vader deal going on so the weird thing is is that it's not happening in any of these deals except this one and it looks like that it kind of causes a little bit of loss in the farm but not a ton. So for right now, our system is still working. Um, still working fine. And then it looks like, are you about to be an idiot? Dude, walk over there. Do it. Yeah, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Well, but anyway, uh, stuff and things are working well with the farm. And in the last stream over at twitch.tv slash slipgator, click the link in the down there, follow the channel. We have more uh, building stuff and things that we did over here. Let me check what's going on here. Ooh, ah, ooh. So our collection area is working pretty good. Uh, do we have room? Okay. So over inside of here we did uh set up some stuff and things this is kind of like a work in progress and we don't have enough iron to do all the hoppers that we need uh and this is i think working pretty good but yeah it, it needs a little bit of work in there so uh at the end of the day we're collecting stuff and things and mostly the bones oh my god we need bones so bad give me all your friggin' bones uh, and the gunpowder, really, really important for for us, for all the stuff and things, for fireworks um, and for uh, all of our blocks here. Because remember, we're using that data pack deal. So uh, do I seriously not have any rockets? Really? All right. So we built this little um, kind of a more beautiful collection area deal in the last stream, like I'd said. Um, and it looks quite nice. I like it. We still have a lot of torch stuff and things going on. Um, I'm not a huge fan. Uh, and we're gonna need a guardian farm in order to figure that out. But I can't believe I don't have any rockets. I know they're they're in my blue box. I think. Uh, can we make it back to base without any rockets? Is it possible, dude? Look at our spawner. It's so beautiful. We can make it back to base without it. Oh my god, that was easy actually. I thought it was gonna be tough. Wait, what? A new road? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. A new road. All right, let me pop over here and see if we got some rockets. There we go. Rockets in my pocket. Let me go ahead and squirt those guys over here. Uh, and we are, and we are flying. All right. So we just want to pop over this way real quickly. Oh, dude, we left this on by accident. Did it break? Gosh, dang it. All the heck it did. If we leave this guy on between logs or actually if we leave it on and we load, uh, we unload the chunk, we have some issues. And that's why we have these extra repeaters over here. So we can go ahead and fix that up. If we have that problem, do, 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 bam. No, that escapes up. Now, let me see. All right. We turn this guy back on and then pop over inside of here. Uh, I don't really have enough space to make the bone meal right now, so we'll just leave some bones inside of there. All right, so today, what have we been working on after we finished the spawner? What a big project, you guys, and it was so much fun to do. It provides our world with such an amazing resource, but after that, what do we get back into? Aesthetics and food. Those are the things we really need to conquer, and I think we're going to conquer them today. So we have now our flower farm, our spawner, we have our villager deal over there, and then we started building our roads over here, right? So in the last stream, I went ahead and did a bunch of aesthetic work here. You may notice the roads are slightly different. These are all on the uh, on the half slab, on the half block. You can see there, 67.5. 
so we don't have any spawning here that way we don't need to light it up and we went around and added the secondary road deal over here which we're gonna have some stairs and stuff like that some of you guys were saying that we need to do some supports for the roads obviously that's the thing that's happening as well but we're kind of doing some building around all of our roads so we know where our supports are gonna go and how they're gonna look um yeah so right now the current aesthetic project bam down inside of here uh, actually let's go over here and then we can see this guy so we started and did a little bit of a testing um as far as if we wanted to use uh smooth slabs under here or diorite slabs diorite slabs one um, and what we're doing is putting kind of like a reflecting pool underneath all of the roads that we have. We're going to do it underneath this one, these guys, and then we're actually going to make a curved reflecting pool that goes under that road too. And it's just, eh, I hate to say it's completely aesthetic. It's not a hundred percent aesthetic, but it is, um, basically aesthetic but also it's gonna help with spawning there won't be as much spawning down in this area now because it'll all be filled up with water oh rockets in the offhand maybe that's why i don't have enough rockets um so yeah that's the plan for today we want to go ahead and start to do that but yeah thank you guys like i said for coming to hang out we're having so much fun i don't think i well, i got a room for a couple of things we're having so much fun in our minecraft world again it's been such a long time since i played the game and it's been so good to be back hello free dirt what our sand it's been so long since, we, since we've been back and playing this, and it was so good to take a break because I have so much renewed enthusiasm to do all these things. It's so much fun to be back, um, and especially, like I said, we do a lot of the stuff on the streams as well. Whoa. Oh, hello. I remember you. I marked you with this little deal right over there. Yeah, that's right, homie. You are known to me, spawner room. You guys may not have known it, but I did. Um, oh, this over here. <gasps> oh, it's perfect. The water will come from right here, and then it'll just... Oh, that makes perfect sense. Oh my God, I can't even believe that I didn't think of that. Well, let's go ahead and pop over here. I don't think I really knew. I didn't know this was at the exact right level for that. So we'll go like this and then over here, eventually this water will kind of edit this a little bit and make it look nice and natural. And this water will come in here and it will fuel, provide the water source for all of our aqueducts. I may even be able to, ooh, now that I think about it guys, hold on a second here. We may be able to, what about over this way? Does this match up as well? Ooh, it's one higher. Well, we could have the water emptying out into here. That would kind of look cool. I think that would be good. So the water comes down this area and then it empties out into this pool. Um, yeah, because it will be a little bit one block higher over there. That doesn't really look very good. Maybe we just go like that just to kind of give it a little bit of natural feel. But yeah, so that's my plan for right now. I'm going to go ahead and begin to work on it. I'm going to make some progress in my world and I will be our bees. Peace. an incredibly useful wandering trader has come to visit us i wonder if he has any amazing deals let's check his deals uh oh only five emeralds for a dark oak sapling three purple die for just an emerald three green die oh my god only three emerald die for packed ice you are so valuable to our economy what would we do without you ah uh, kappa you know what, guys? I was talking about this the other day on the stream. Uh, also, yeah, the stuff and things are coming along quite nicely. In fact, this can come down now. Um, I was talking about this the other day in the stream. I was talking about these wandering traders. 
And some people were saying, I think there was like a little bit of miscommunication. They were saying that you can, if you if you cure villagers of being zombies, it makes the wandering traders give you better traits, which I do not believe is the truth. But the other thing that I was saying is these guys would be dead. They would just be dead. They wouldn't be able to make any money with this economy. Their, econ their economic stuff and things are so terrible. Your trades are terrible. Do you do realize this, don't you? Do you? It's over for you. Get out. You need to get out of my deal. You have nothing that we want. Oh, no. He's... Ah! You think you can nose at me? Snot, llama, gross, free leads all right free leads and two leather yeah dude you guys they would have no they would all starve to death they they don't sell anything people want they should sell things people want why won't they sell why would they do that um if they sold things people want then people would buy it then they could take the emeralds that they have and buy food and put it on the table for their little wandering trader families i feel like we need to write a angry uh letter to mojang about it let me go ahead and squirt these guys over here like so so anywho so yeah what i went ended up doing over here is just kind of measuring you might have seen it i just want to went ahead and came from here and measured two back for each one of these guys and they, we go all the way around i feel like right over here this didn't work out as a two back deal um and i'm not quite sure why that is i feel like it's is it two back it's really hard to measure right here um at the end of the day i think it'll be fine i don't think it's that big of a deal if we move it out another block it actually might look a little bit wacky we come over here you can see so it's all two back it really is but it kind of just this looks a little bit thin but that's okay it'll be fine so uh we've got almost this entire aesthetic piece done there's a lot of additional things that i do want to do here i want to put inset lighting down underneath um and we want to light up the edges too a bit here and there you know making sure that the base is spawn proof is going to be very important um another thing that we have going on that we're going to really need to do is get a um, guardian farm going because i need um sea lanterns so badly i need so many of them they're my favorite uh lighting block in the game I really just think that they're they're so great. Um, they match my color scheme so perfectly. And uh, I really don't want to have to build a guardian farm because it's so such a big project. I have to go and look and see. Well, I should say it used to be a big project. I don't know anymore if there are some um, easier ones to build. Uh, considering when I started, when I stopped playing Minecraft, the last time that we stopped playing, um, you know, something like an Enderman farm was a pretty big deal. Remember Wooly Creepers ICE? and all the huge Enderman farms that we used to build. And now you log into the, you get on the old YouTubes and you take a look, you search around and you have, you know, Nembon makes a little farm. It takes like 10 minutes and it has the maximum amount of spawning stuff and things and it's super easy to do. Um, so I'm wondering, maybe there is an easier guardian farm. I'll have to take a look and see what's up with that. But I do believe that we need to have a break. After we finish this last little bit here, we need to have a break because we have a little problem in our base. We're working on some automated stuff and things. We've got all sorts of cool machines coming. We are definitely progressing quite nicely, in fact. But one thing is not working out for us, and that's food. We don't have any kind of food. We don't have any automated food. Now, when we first started playing up over there, we built a couple of farms. That's why we have some carrots right here. But a man cannot just carrot. You know what I mean? A person cannot just carrot their life away. You need a little bit of meat. You need a little protein. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get... Um, I think an automated chicken farm going. Like I had said, when we first started, we went ahead and built an old design. I was um, really into going back and doing some of the old stuff we did. We have a blaze farm. I actually don't know if I've showed you guys that. Oh, we out of stuff and things. I don't know if I've showed you the blaze farm on camera. You guys just hang out right over there. Um, I built the old Etho blaze farm from like seven years ago, just because I love the design. It's really fun way early game to get some experiences. Um, and so we went ahead and built that. I tried to build Mumbo's chicken cooker and in 114, it's not working. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go like that. So yeah, in 114, it isn't working. So we have to build a newer design. And I feel like a chicken cooker is really the way to go. We could do automated. What are you doing over there, homie? You just hanging out by yourself? Freaking target practice. Doing loops? Dude, what? Oh, come on. Come on, we got this. You and me. Is it what? Come on, team. Stop it. He's like one of those ducks. I got him. Nailed it. He's done. It's over. Did he drop anything good? Uh huh. Hmm, I don't see any emeralds. So, um, where were we? Chicken cooker. All right, guys. So this is what we're going to be working on. A new chicken cooker deal. I think we're going to need some stuff and things, though. Comparator. 
Uh, dispensers times two, observers times two. We'll need a couple of hoppers. We'll need some lava. We're gonna need some redstone. Uh, what other things should we get over here? Probably some slabity bits. Uh, we'll need some glass. Let's grab a stack of blue glass right over there like so. Two upper, two droppers, comparator. Um, oh yeah, chesticle right here. Um, maybe we do like a double deal. Uh, we'll need one minecart rail. We should have that right up inside of here. We'll need a hopper minecart, so we'll grab that and another hopper like so. Um, I think we'll need maybe a little bit of light for this too. Do we have a little bit of glowstone left? We'll grab that guy. And then we'll probably need some stairs as well. Uh, mayhaps we just use, yeah, a couple of those guys like that. All right, so let's pop up here and see if we can do this. Now, I'm a little bit hesitant to do, I always wanna make sure I put credit where credit is due. With this design, I'm not really sure exactly whose design this is. And um, as far as where we're gonna build it, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. Over here, we've just finished up. This is like a, not an automated, but a little area for us to make uh, concrete powder into regular concrete. We just go ahead and put it in our um, offhand and then we um, we hit it against that obsidian and it collects down inside of there. This would be a great place for us to put the farm. So what I was thinking is that we put it maybe right next to it, right over here. We have enough room. I do believe what we need to do is we need a four by three. So we're gonna have to dig out around here a little bit. So we have enough room. Um, but right inside of here, if you're wondering what this is, this used to go, this used to be our, um, Mumbo chicken farm was right inside of here and then this went up to the top of the chicken farm right now It is the troll door. It goes to nowhere So if somebody happens upon this area and they wonder where my secret stuff is and they're like hmm wonder where Slipgator's secret stuff is they come up over here. Haha, -ha! you've been trolled. There's nothing there um, So right over in this area, I think is gonna be the best place for this guy. So we dig out a touch Like so all around this bad ombre and give ourselves enough room to kind of move around here. We said we wanted it to be three. I think I want this to be the area where we have the chicken cooker. I'm gonna go ahead and place down, uh, uh. I'm gonna go ahead and place down my chest right there. So that's where we know, that's kind of where we want stuff and things to go. Let me pop this out right here. Let's just go ahead and start off. We'll put that guy in there. I think that should be good. Um, yeah, so, oh, is it turning out to be night? Dude, look at our spawner in the distance. It's so beautiful. So over here, like I said, we're gonna dig this guy out a touch. We have enough room to get stuff and things done. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna begin on this guy. Una memento. We have to sleep away the night. Hello, kitty. Hello. How are you? Are you good? This is our cat. It hangs out right over there. All right, so I'm gonna try to do this with you guys, uh, in real time here. So I'm just gonna put this guy away over here. We're gonna go ahead and try to build this guy in real time. Uh, if you were wondering where I got the design from, it is from a YouTuber called Frilloth, I think? Um, and yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and try this out over here and see how this works. Dude, did we lose? Oh, no, no, we already used one of them. There we go. Like so, like so. Squirt that guy down right over there. I think we should be GTG with it facing in that direction. Let's take some of our blocks here. Let's go ahead and I think like that and like that. Um, and then most likely here, I think we're gonna do a stair deal, like so. Maybe just like that, like, all right, feels good. Okay, so in the back over here now, we're gonna take not our observers, but our dispensers, and we're gonna go ahead and squirt a dispenser down there and there, and then we're gonna take our slabity bits, and we're gonna slab that guy right there, like so. Um, in here, in the back, I think this actually needs to come back another little area, little ways, so that we can go ahead and get enough room to work. Like so, and like so. All right, so now our final hopper is gonna pop in over here, and then we're gonna take our care bit and squirt it on top of there like that. All right, so behind here, now let's go ahead and grab a couple of blocks like this, and then we're gonna squirt our comparator down over here, like so. Um, now our observer, like that, facing upwards, I do believe, and I think actually we're gonna need more room up top here too. Pull some of this down. Like so, just so we have enough room to do things. No, the troll door! Dude, troll door is gone. Um, all right, so we'll pop all these guys off around here like so. And then the next order of business, I think we can start to actually kind of cover this guy up. So we're gonna go like this and like that. This is where we're gonna be able to see our chickens. Um, we are going to need to put lava in here eventually, not right now. Let's go ahead back over here and just start to fill this in a bit. We're gonna make it like a contained deal and then we'll go ahead and fix everything up here when we're done. Uh, like this, 
like so. Maybe a place for us to yump up and then put these guys down back over this way, like so and like so. Now, this actually has to go up one more block, like this and like that. So this will be like the inside of the wall, right? This will be like where, where we see our chicken cooker and then we can probably, yeah, just leave that the way that that is right there. Do I have enough blocks to fill all this in? Please tell me we do. Ooh, right up there. Where is the, hmm, we'll figure it out on the other side. We gotta have a place for us to put our chickens inside so we can get some stuff and things done here. All right, so like that, yeah, it looks good. Then our little stairway, maybe we take this out um, so it still looks natural. We do wanna kinda make it look like it's part of the natural mountain. We can work on that after we're done, actually. All right, so there's where our chickens are gonna go in right here. Let's pop these guys off like so. Then we're gonna wanna go ahead like this. I think put a couple of extra blocks in there like so. Temporary blocks for stuff and things. Over here, I'm pretty sure we can just go ahead and go like so. So none of those chickens are gonna get out. And the idea here, what we're doing is we have a place, a dispenser here where our eggs will come in. Then we have a dispenser here where our lava will pulse. Uh, I think we're gonna run the same redstone signal from this observer here and then eventually we're gonna place another observer right here um, we'll put a dot of redstone there a dot of redstone there that'll power both of the blocks down here so each pulse each time um, the comparator back underneath there each time we get some info in the comparator so that's whenever something passes through the hopper that's below the carpet there it'll go ahead and trigger the redstone it will pulse the lava it will pulse the dispenser under here to squirt an egg out and if there are any grown chickens um, they will be killed. They'll pass through the slab into the hopper minecart, and then that will trigger. Yeah, that'll put these guys down inside of here. So it should work pretty good, I do believe. Uh, next order of business. We'll just have to put in our lava, our observer, and our redstone. Oh, yeah, right. Actually, right over here, I think. Let's go ahead and put our glowstone in right like that. Um... And that will just help um, in the video. He actually says it helps with lighting updates because the lava will update the light every time that it pulses. So if the glowstone's there, we won't actually get a lighting update. It'll already be lit. So eggs, do we have some? Yeah, we got some eggs, baby. All the eggs. So let's just go ahead and grab a ton of those guys. Let's squirt them into our inventory like so. And I will go up above and begin the process of hatching all of these terrible verminous chickens into our deal right over here. Okay, testing. So the way this works is a little bit wacky. Not wacky, but it's a little bit different than the way that I thought. So let me go ahead and grab some eggs here so we can see. I'm gonna grab as many of these bad hombres as we can. All right, so the way this comparator is going to work, if there's just a single egg flowing down through here, nothing's going to happen. So it, it not, that's not gonna work. Now what we need is two eggs in here, right? Two eggs, then we get a signal. Then stuff and things start to happen inside of here. So effectively, this guy needs to be... Oh, there you can see. Two egg, two guys laid an egg, so it worked. So effectively, this needs to be full of eggs. Um, let's go ahead and go ahead and grab all of our eggs here. I think a couple of those guys have already grown up. It's been a little bit of time. We should probably have a bunch of eggs over here if we just walk through. Oh, my God. If I could just tell you what it smells like, guys. Oh, my. That's terrible. I mean, it looks clean, but it's not. It's just not. Chickens. Uh, all right. So, let's pop over here again. Let's just squirt all of these guys. All right. Now, now that this is full, that should start to do stuff and things. Whenever this guy has multiple eggs in it, if, again, we just grab two. Hmm. So, how does that work? Does it, does it assume there's only ever one egg in the system? Because if that's the case... I don't know if this is actually going to work. We just put one in. So yeah, if ever there was a time when multiple chickens were to lay an egg at the same time, let me try this again. Two more. Two more. Okay, it seems to be going pretty good. Now what if we put a bunch in? You see here, this causes a little bit of a problem. It causes a backup. So if we have too many eggs in there, uh, and too many chickens lay their eggs all at the same time, it would cause there to be a pro uh, there would be an issue. We have one, just one block in there. None of our chickens have grown up yet. But we could probably just see. It might not ever be a problem. If we just go ahead and go do one or two at a time, you know what I mean? Oh, there we go. We're backed up again. I just want there to get the we want to get some chickens in here so you guys can see what's going on. So I guess we just feed in two at a time.
Yeah, and as long as we don't have like multiple chickens laying eggs all at the same time, there shouldn't be a problem. But if that happens, it would get, there'd be a backup. There'd be a problem over here. So that would be a no bueno situation for sure. Um, let me just go ahead and see how it works out. I think on this side, I can go ahead and fill this in. I had opened this up just to see how this works, but we do want to make sure this gets all filled in here. We don't want any chickens, any verminous chickens escaping. Uh, it looks like we're out of solid blocks, so I'll go grab some more stone. But for right now, we just kind of want to wait for these guys to grow up and see how this works and make sure we don't have any sort of problems in there. All right, watering our canals while we wait for our chickens to do stuff and things. Let's go ahead and grab some hot water action right over here like so. And the easiest way to do this, I've already done a bunch of the work for us. You can see this guy's already done. Oh, and my little great idea over here did not work out, by the way. Um, do I have any... Uh, can we do this with a bucket of water in our hands? Probably we cannot. Let's just go like that. So, remember I was so excited? Fly! Fly! Oh my gosh. So, so excited. I was like, oh my god, this will be perfect. It'll be like the water's flowing from in here out to there. Well, this is too, it's not high, or it's too high. It's one too high over here, so this isn't gonna work out. We'll just make it so it flows into there, and it's perfectly fine. It ain't no big thing. But over here, how are we gonna get this all filled up? Now, most of you guys probably know. It's pretty easy, actually. Um, and I've already done most of the work, most of the hard work over here. So all you got to do is line all of the, the sides. So right here, you can see this whole side is already lined with water. If we just go ahead and line this side with water, like so, bam, everything turns into a source block. So easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now we just pop over here, fill these guys all up like this. And all we've got to do is right here, like so. And then bam, the water flows over. You can see all of this now is becoming source blocks all the way down. I wish we had a surfboard. Man, we could ride that wave. It'd be unbelievable and amazing. Um, I didn't do the curve yet. And I just don't think we're gonna have time to do that in today's episode. I'll get the curve done during the streams or something like that. We can pop these guys inside of here like so. And then over here, uh, like this, like that, like this. I think that one's already GTGs. There goes the wave, baby, all the way down. And then now we just go ahead and pop these guys out. And it shouldn't even be a thing. Like so. All source blocks, baby. Feels good. Nice. That was awesome. So we'll pop all those guys in there. Maybe we just empty this guy out, like maybe against there, so we don't waterlog a slab by accident. Um, and then pop over here, squirt in some of these grass blocks to get rid of that water source. Oh my god, he's done it. Now, the next order of business, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go check on our chicken farm here and see what's going on. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about it. We'll see. I found some raw chicken and some feathers. Oh, and I found the feathers inside of the dispenser. Oh, it just killed one. Yes. Oh, dude, we got feathers and raw chicken right inside of there. Now, let's just check our dispenser. I found some feathers in this dispenser, and, and um, there were so many that was clogging up the system. Um, also, my concerns about this are kind of unfounded because when you do get a chicken in here, when a, when an, uh, there you can see when a chicken comes from, uh, an egg comes from the chicken, it actually does pulse the um, comparator. When I put an egg in here, it does not pulse the comparator. So it only needs one egg to pulse the comparator, so you'll get a one-to-one. -one. And actually, it'll be more than a one-to-one. -one. Every time you get a single egg in the hopper, it pulses the dispenser twice. So this will keep the dispenser empty, um, and that'll keep the hopper empty, and that'll make it so that we don't have to worry about there being any clogs. But we definitely have chicken up in this piece now. Do I only have one of these guys? Dude, I need more of these. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this back in. Uh, maybe just put some deer tay in there right now like that, and then that guy, and then I really need one more block. I need one more. Can I just get one block? I can't. I'll have to do it some other time. But anywho, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. Look at our unbelievable and amazing aqueducts. All right, well, they're not really aqueducts, are they? But look how much better that makes those roads look. Now there's such a great contrast betwixt the diorite and um, our blue that goes under and it really adds a little something something to the whole base area. It ties it all in and I think it looks great. So thanks for coming to hang out with me ladies and gentle peeps for our chicken cooker aqueduct kind of sort of stuff and things video. Make sure if you like it please don't forget show your support and smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit and may the stuff and things be with you.